All dairymen, I feel, are good stewards of the animals and their environment. And the bigger these dairies get, usually the more technology occurs on them. We milk currently about 3,200 head. Uh, we have capability of milking about 3,600 head with six milk barns, one special needs barn, and a 72 head rotary. If you look at anything on a dairy farm today, over the last 40 or 50 years, it started with research-based scientific facts. And we have the technology to keep track of every single cow in a database. And the numbers, uh, they, they never lie no matter, what, uh, no matter what you're looking at. You can always come to some sort of uh, solution. What's worked in the past? what's gonna save you time. We have computer programs now for ration formulation that we can put in a lot of constraints and then hit an optimize button. The milking uh, units themselves will detach from the cow when they, uh, when they deem that her flow rate is not good enough. Every hour, every lane of all these barns is flushed. He can pull up any cow in the dairy and it'll have an event page for her of everything that's ever gone wrong with the cow, how much she's milking, if she's had health disorders. When I'm looking through my herd, I'm going through my cows, I'm scanning cows, I'm bringing up their entire record from previous lactations, current lactations. So that they continue to look for bottlenecks, look for, look for ways to be more efficient, or look for better cow comfort abilities, anything they can do. Each cow has got a uh, RFID uh, code uh, button that is actually in each ear and that is a special identification code, and that's unique to that animal in the entire world. We're, we're growing with the economy, we're feeding more people, but with that, it's still a family-owned farm, and they install the technology so they can provide individual care just like if they were 50 cows, except they're 5,000 cows.